way to spend three days in Brussels, Belgium. Day 1. Depending on your time of arrival, you can either take it easy and soak up the atmosphere in Brussels or you can begin your tour of its famous attractions. Upon arrival, check into your chosen accommodation and get your villa. Bike, the self-service bike rental in Brussels. Biking in the city is an extremely popular activity among locals and tourists as it has several physical advantages. It is also a great way to see the city without spending too much money on transportation. To discover the network of Villo. Bike stations, download the map and the list of stations online. There is no better way to get to know the city than visiting the Grand Place, one of the world's most beautiful squares. This part of the city steeped in history is a classic example of a Belgian town filled with traditional buildings and cobbled streets. The most famous attraction in the Grand Place is the Gothic-style town hall, the seat of the mayor of Brussels. Then, you may visit one or two of Brussels' best-loved museums like the Musée de la Ville de Bruxelles. Here, you won't miss the mannequin pies, the city's urinating mascot. Your next destination is Atomium, located on Avenue de l'Atomium. Since it was constructed for the 1958 World Fair, the Atomium has become one of the icons of the city. End your day at Place Polot and Palace of Justice, located at Place Polot 1. This is a perfect place to get a stunning panoramic view of Brussels and beyond. After your historic tour, make your way back to your hotel and get a good night's sleep. Day 2 On day 2, after having a filling breakfast, set out for the Royal Museum of Fine Arts which exhibits the fascinating history of Brussels and houses a vast collection of historical paintings, drawings and sculptures from the world's most famous painters and sculptors. Another museum you should not miss is the Musée des Instruments de Musique de Bruxelles, Musical Instrument Museum, a music museum which houses over 8,000 musical instruments. In the afternoon, head to Mode Alambic on Place Fontaines for some craft beers. Then, wander around the lovely Boulevard de Waterloo, one of the main high-end fashion shopping streets of the city. It is a great place to people watch and do some shopping. You may also take a nice afternoon stroll along the botanical gardens to end the day. No alt text provided for this image. Day 3 It's time to say goodbye to Brussels. If you still have time before departure, treat yourself to a delicious meal at one of Brussels' best breakfast spots. Then, check out the places that you might have missed. You may not consider the European Parliament when you visit Brussels, but trust us, there are attractions in this part of the city that you don't want to miss. You may start with Place du Luxembourg, also known also as Place Lux, located opposite of the European Parliament. During weeknights, Many professionals, diplomats, company employees and executives gather here for coffee or wine and beer. During weekends, Place Lux is almost deserted, with only tourists clustered around the square. Your next destination is the European Parliament Hemicycle, where the world's largest transnational parliament gather during plenary sessions. Then, explore the Interactive Parliamentarium, the European Parliament Visitor Centre. Your last destination before departure is the House of European History, a museum dedicated to showcase Europe's history and culture. Have you been to Brussels or anywhere else in Belgium? Do you have any tips or suggestions to share? If so, you can leave your comments below.